this morning in the van. But we have a whole story time I'm not going to do right now. But basically, lots of tears were shed last night. Lots of tears were shed this morning. Oh, I, gonna we're going to do a sit-down story time on this. On, like, what all has... Yes. It's not that bad, but it's it's kind of like... It's not that bad! Oh my gosh! It's kind of like Half Dome 2.0. If you guys watched our Yosemite vlog, I'll link it here. When we did Half Dome in Air Force One's 18 mile hike without a permit. <laughs> we are so this is dumb. similar to that experience, I'll say. Um, yeah, oh. more story time later. But for now, we made um, breakfast. I actually think we're still in <laughs> France. You keep crossing over the border <coughs> because they're like right next to each other. They're an open border. So not sure if we're in Switzerland or France right now because we keep bebopping. Whew, but, um, I'm already nervous to drive again. But anyways, we're gonna go to this cafe, try to get some Wi-Fi. Our van company that I bought Wi-Fi through, like, was like, actually, we can't do Wi-Fi. So we have, like, no service, and we're in a different country in case he's driving stick shift for the first time. So that kind of cues you in on a little bit of our chaotic energy from the past 12 to 24 hours. It's literally been crazy. Um, but anyways, we're gonna go to this cafe, try to use Wi-Fi, and just sit for like an hour and get addresses of the next campsites we're going to try to go to. We need to go to one where we can charge the van tonight because they did not charge it all the way for us also. So it's dying quickly and we need the battery for our fridge to keep our food cold and all the things. So the van trip is going to turn around. We literally almost like bit the bullet on what we paid for it and returned it today. Like that sounds insane, but that's how crazy it's been. So we're going to go get some Wi-Fi, hopefully figure out our plan and, um, Hopefully turn this turn this baby around because Switzerland is gonna be fine. Morale's high. We're it's feeling going. good now. He says that now, but give it about <laughs> I'm just kidding. He's doing great. <laughs> and everything is safe and sound. Casey's getting so much better at driving. We actually had a little bit of service. It cut out a lot on the way here, but we actually have a little bit. I'm even trying to like upload a TikTok right now. It's good enough for that. Um, but we got maps to work and everything. We um, got gas in the car. We bought firewood. We were thriving. It was literally like 30 francs to camp here. And you can see like Geneva down there. And then this is the little view at our campsite. It is so freaking cute. <laughs> Merci beaucoup. We have all the fall leaves back here. She said it's been way warmer than normal this year, so it's still kind of green, but the mountains in the background and then our little, little van. We are about to go and plunge in Lake Geneva. It's not actually that cold. I went and felt it because being pregnant, you know, I don't want to like get in like super cold water, like cold plunge kind of cold. But this is probably like 65, 63, I don't know. It didn't feel that cold. Um, so I feel totally safe like getting in. So we're gonna swim for a little bit and take some HBF pictures of this little guy. And then we're gonna come back and probably cook an early dinner and watch a sunset over these mountains behind me because I think it's gonna be stunning. And maybe take some more pictures and I'll literally be that you guys are sitting on the stove right now so i'll be watching sunset over those mountains with fall leaves while i'm making burgers for us in the van um i wish i could drink wine like drinking wine in the mountains with like a beautiful sunset and cooking just sounds really fun but can't because pregnant and also we don't even have wine so it's fine <laughs> um but yeah we'll be cooking and then we're gonna make a fire which we don't have a fire pit at our campsite so i'm not sure how we're gonna do that maybe we won't we'll see um and then we'll probably go to bed so early tonight because we are so tired. We did not sleep like at all last night and I slept bad the night before that too. So let's go jump in Lake Geneva. First water in Switzerland. I'm so excited.
restaurant and it looks so cute and good. So Casey was like, why don't we just eat there tonight? Um, because I was gonna make us beef, broccoli, and like some snacks for dinner tonight, but um, we just decided the restaurant would be fun. The sun's like setting, but it's just so bright behind the mountain. So we're gonna walk to the little restaurant, get some dinner. And also we did find out we cannot do a campfire. So that's that, maybe at a different campground. We'll see, but we'll make tea, have a good cozy night after dinner, maybe walk around. It's starting to get chilly, chilly. So yeah, our little swimmy was great. Lots of fishies Revival in the water. <laughs> Lots of fishies in the water. And then we took a shower at the little like community shower thing. We also have showers in, or a shower in our van, but it would kind of get water everywhere. So we just opted to shower for the free shower here. And it was so nice. I washed my hair, it was amazing. I just got ready for the day we were about to head to burn switzerland that is like the i think like top five one of the top five like biggest cutest like cities in switzerland it is a fall dream it's a lot warmer here than normal years so they're saying it's not really like fall yet which is a bummer but hopefully we'll see some really pretty fall leaves we've been seeing some fall leaves there's definitely still more green than fall but it's still so freaking beautiful but we're headed to burn where um casey's emptying like the toilet water and we're about to go put more water in the van we're kind of just soaking up the last of our little bit of electricity charging our devices right now at this campsite and then we're gonna leave but we had a good little cozy night we got pizza at the restaurant and then i enjoyed my hot chocolate so much like it was literally like packaged hot chocolate it wasn't like fresh or anything but it was just so good something about camping and hot chocolate is just like so freaking good and then we turned the heat on in the van got it all cozy in here and slept last night woke up like seven or eight this morning snuggled made coffee pancakes and just had a good morning we walked around for a second with our coffee and now i'm about to have us take a little timer can pick i want to try to take a picture at like each campsite that we go to even though it will only be like three spots since our trip kind of got cut short since we had so much chaotic energy the first like day and a half we were just like figuring it out i kind of wish i'd booked us longer but I think it's okay. We um, are still having so much fun and we'll have so much fun for the three like good solid days that we're here. So anyways, we're going to document that a little bit and then we're going to head out because the way it's like not at all on the way if you look at a map of Switzerland, but we're going to Interlaken, Interlaken, I don't know how you say it. But it's basically just this very beautiful area in the middle of Switzerland where Lauterbrunn and Grindelwald and Interlaken are. And it's kind of just the core, like, in my opinion, based on what I looked at, like, most beautiful parts of Switzerland other than, like, skiing Swiss Alps kind of thing. And so we are going up to Bern and then down back into the mountains to get to Interlaken because that's kind of the fastest way the map takes you. And we wanted to see Bern anyways and we don't have time. Sorry, Casey's, like, fixing the water stuff so it's loud <laughs> back there. 
I can't move the camera, but he looks really funny looking at me through the window. Uh, Y'all are like propped up so carefully, so I'm like, I don't want to mess it up. Anyways, though, we're going to burn because we wanted to see it, but we didn't have an extra day to like stay there. I really wanted to stay in a little like bed and breakfast and burn, but just the way like we're going to get back to where we have to drop the van off, it just like was not going to work. So we're just stopping in. We're going to use Wi-Fi for like an hour, um, get a couple work things done map out like our next two campsites and where we're gonna stay the night before we drop off the van the next morning because we're trying to get that done like really early and just make sure that we don't have another stressful airport drop off van experience um so anyways and we also still need to tell you guys the van story i feel like i'll do that at the end maybe like the last night as we're packing up like tell you guys kind of like what happened we are just like go 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 we're definitely relaxing because we don't have cell service or anything but we're still like going place to place to place doing stuff and the whole time Casey's driving I'm like mapping us and talking him through it because he's still learning how to drive like stick shift and so I'm just like very hands on and don't have a lot of time to like talk to the camera right now like I am right now which is so fun but anyways we are going to burn and then we're getting to Interlaken the spot we're camping at tonight is so freaking good I think I'm going to link in the description like the three spots we stay because if you're happening to plan a trip to Switzerland and that's how you somehow found this video, then I want to show you where we camped because they're amazing. I use this app right here called Park for Night. Literally, we would not have a clue where to stay because Switzerland, like, I swear, like, three campsites pop up when you search, like, camping in Switzerland, whatever. Like, it's not good online and it's all in different languages, so it's just not helpful. But this app translates everything and, like, reviews for you and whatever. I wish somehow this video was, like, sponsored by them because I would shout them down because I think this app is amazing. <laughs> if you're going to visit Switzerland. I don't think it's for the U.S. I don't think we have it in the U.S. We have like an outdoorsy app is what it's called in the U.S. But anyways, it's like a wild camping app that has campsites and stuff on it. So it's been great and I'm so excited for our spot tonight. I'm praying they have a spot. It's like impossible to check online because they're all in different languages and it confuses me so much. So we're just going to like show up. There's so many campsites around there that I'm like, I feel safe as long as we're not there at dark that we could find somewhere else to camp if this one was full, but it's also off season. So it probably won't be full. So that's our plan for the day. Sorry for talking so much, you guys. I am so excited. For another day i'm excited to see burn praying for fall leaves and literally so pumped for inner lake and views because it's gonna be insane out there a little daddy boy what you doing <laughs> you look so psycho oh my god can you open your toilet and make sure it's working you want me to flush it well just like open it and make sure that the tank is open filling up our little water tank campsite it feels like we've been in switzerland so much longer than just saying second campsite like i feel like we've been camping forever but obviously we had a night that we weren't really camping it was just in a grocery store parking lot too so we have been here three nights but i'm sitting in bed casey went to our campgrounds um shower thing to go take another shower we both already showered today but the showers are warm and Casey's like obsessed with warm baths, saunas, like hot tubs. He just like loves warm water. So we went to go take another shower, even though it's not even that cold outside. He's just dramatic. But I'm sitting about eating some chocolate bread. This is one of my favorite things we got on our little grocery store purchase. It's literally just chocolate and bread. It is so good. It literally smells amazing, tastes amazing. I wish you could taste and smell it through the screen but you can't but while he's not here I wanted to give you guys like a little update about like where we are at where we're camping what we're doing and then also give you this spiel and hopefully Casey gets back for part of it because I feel like he'll help me embellish it but we'll see um the spiel on what happened the first night because it was even like worse for Casey than for me but anyways so essentially we went to burn today to work we worked at this adorable coffee shop got matchas and a brownie we didn't want to have too much caffeine so we just got matcha 
um because it was like 1 p.m when we got there casey had some work stuff he had a call he had to make i just did some maintenance stuff like emails um i and like checking in with some of the brands i'm working with when we get back like about when the packages are arriving and yada yada those kind of things little maintenance stuff edited a tiktok and a post and got those up while we had wi-fi it's kind of hard because 4 p.m here is like good posting time like i normally post around slight over here kept like conflicting like with that light and then you guys weren't focusing so i just turned it off um so the lighting changed because of that but basically when i'm home i normally post at like 10 30 in the morning and 10 30 in the morning for here versus home time is 4 30 here so it's been weird because I feel like we're never working at a coffee shop or really in areas with Wi-Fi at like 4.30. So anyways, um, basically we worked and then it was like 2 something and we were going to go see like downtown burn. But one, it's not peak fall here like it was supposed to be because it's been warmer and I really wanted to see burn in the fall. So it wasn't like I was like, I have to see it because it's, it's a city. It's like a cute city in Switzerland. Um, but it's just amazing in the fall. I'll insert a picture here. So I really wanted to see it, but wasn't full fall and we really needed to get to Ender Lake in. It was only like an hour, hour and a half from where we were working at the coffee shop. But I, just because the first half of this trip, especially the first like day and a half day, just went so terribly wrong. I am kind of on team, like prepare for the worst, like obviously like, have a good attitude and be hopeful, but just like if you booked a campsite online or something like just know that the campsite could just not be there when you get there like it could be the wrong address or like whatever could happen so i kind of was like okay casey like we need to get there before like 4 30 because then if like this spot doesn't work out we can go find another one before it gets dark yada yada so we got here on like 3 30 he's back from the shower that scared me i was like someone's coming into the van um how's your second shower Talking to the vlog. Hello, vloggers. Hello, Hello vloggers. I'm about to tell them the story of our saga, so it's good you're here. You can help me. Anyways, so yeah, we got here at 3 30. It's literally darling. I showed a couple clips of dinner. We ate burgers that I cooked um, in the van, and I made myself some broccoli and some fried eggs for Casey. And um, we just kind of like walked around and had a very, very chill afternoon. I also went and got a hot dog insert picture here just a random pregnancy craving and i was, was like not a hot so dog. It was a vena. A vena. we're like close to germany so there's like a lot of german culture here whatever i mean it was like a frozen hot dog it wasn't like some experience or anything it was good but it was just a hot dog <laughs> i don't normally eat hot dogs but i feel like i have one of them during pregnancy which is so interesting come sit up here and help recount our tale i haven't used the heat pack yet i was eating some chocolate bread Okay. Um, I can't really vlog and do that kind of. Anyways, so we fly in. We're supposed to pick up the van at like 4:45. We fly in at 4:15. So I had made a note about pickup for the van company that we would be like 15 to 30 minutes late to pick up because I knew our flight was gonna get in. I didn't. I didn't know that you don't have to go through customs when you're coming from France to Switzerland. It's an open border, so you don't have to. Um, but anyways, all that to say, we got there, we go to the address, we walked because it was like 15, 20 minutes from the airport. We walked there, we didn't get a taxi or anything. Um, and then we get there and it's literally just like a neighborhood. Like it's not a pickup spot. There's nobody there with a the van. Like, and I'm just freaking out because we have horrible cell service. Like, because we're in a different country. We've never been to before. I'm like crying on the side of the road, pregnant girly. And he's like, not really freaking out yet for some reason. He's very chill. And I was just like, why? I never freak out in these types of... He freaked out about some of it. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, so whatever. <laughs> then we're just walking around Switzerland and I'm crying and so upset and wanting to like sue this van company. Like, so dramatic. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> I'm dramatic. It, it is true. But anyways, we're walking around Switzerland for like an hour and a half, two hours. Just like no cell service. Like, what are we going to do? We finally end up finding this indie camper lot like a mile from where we first were. Just like, 
whatever, chaotic energy. So we find this parking lot. There happens to be a guy helping some people who were dropping off their van. But basically we had called their customer service like a bajillion times and they were like, oh yes, we'll connect you to the local whatever. And they never did. Like it was like we'd call over and over again. He'd be kind of like, hey, we paid for this. Like you're going to help us. Like aggressive. And I was just like, what is happening? Like every time I called them and it was terrible. Literally pick up made me like, what be like what's wrong with this company they're a literal scam they took our money we're just in switzerland and now we should just fly home because we already paid this money for the van i don't want to like pay for a rental car and airbnbs now like we didn't budget that into our trip yada yada so it was like stressful like money wise in a different country wise don't have service all of the things i'm pregnant and tired and just yeah all the things so anyways we get to this lot and finally the guy finishes with the other people and we're like hey can you help us like we were here like at this time like went to address nothing was there but we finally found you he's like well yeah you're like late now and we were like we know we're late because your address took us to the wrong place which it is was, probably probably user error probably my fault somehow it was probably our maps but it was probably my fault somehow obviously we're not from here so i'll take the blame anyways so I'm also, though, I'm just like, whether we went the wrong place or not, like, we paid you enough money to where your customer service should, like, help us when we call you over and over and over again and tell you, like, hey, where do we go? What do we do? Yada, yada. Anyways, all that to say, some of the blame's on us, probably, but I was very upset. We get there, whatever. The guy, like, starts helping us. He's nice. And then, like, the van is, like, half-charged. It's supposed to be fully charged. Because so we were late. They charged it, and then they I don't it. really believe that. It doesn't take half the charge to turn the fridge on. But, anyways, essentially, you're supposed to get the the van, like, half full of gas, like, fully charged. So, it's, a, it's, like, gas for the engine part, and then charge for, like, the lights and the fridge and all the things back here that, like, um, you have to plug into a campsite to, like, use the chargers and stuff, whatever. Anyways, so we can't, like, charge our phones. Um, everything, it's, like, halfway dead. Um, you, whatever, all the things. It's, like, not ready for us. And then the guy gives Casey, like, a tour real quick. We're You're talking through harsh. everything. I'm not being harsh. That night was terrible. Yeah, And but, then, but listen. Okay, so then the guy finishes. And he leaves. He's starting to leave. And Casey right. sits me down. Oh, I didn't even include. Let, let, me, let me take over and explain. Not yet. Now. Let me tell them first. And then you can tell the manual thing. So, okay, I also paid extra to have Wi-Fi in the van. Like, I paid, like, $70, something like that. 50 It was 50 francs, so it's more U.S., whatever. I paid extra money, like, in a package deal with, like, other things I paid extra for, like, that were included. And, like, an extra however much for a package. And it Wi-Fi was included, so, like, we didn't, like, go buy an extra SIM card or anything. We have international service with our Sprint plan, but, like not super great international service stop it was great in paris because like a big city but anyways essentially then he's like oh also we don't have the wi-fi for you i was like well i paid for the wi-fi he was like okay we'll, we'll refund you but like we can't do it at this station i was like why would you advertise that you can do it if you can't because now we're in a foreign country and we don't have like wi-fi for maps we both need to work on this trip like you know whatever so once again I was a stressed girly. Then he leaves, and Casey looks at me, and he goes, we have a small problem. And I'm like, yeah, the Wi-Fi is going to be not just a small problem. It's going to be a big problem because we might not be able to find campsites and stuff. And he goes, no, that's not the problem I'm talking about. <laughs> the car is a manual. It's a stick shift. He didn't know that. I've never driven stick shift. So when he's explaining all the car, like turn on the gas this way when you're using the grill and make sure you do this like all the little things to do i looked in the to the driver's side and saw the stick shift and i was like that doesn't look normal and then i saw the three pedals and i was like that doesn't look normal we're in trouble three pedals. so i like zoned out because i was like oh my gosh like what am i gonna do i have to tell him i can't do it i can't take this we booked this Four, if you told him like, like I can't drive this ago. car while I was standing there before we had a talk, yeah. I would have had it. I would have been like, oh my gosh, what are you doing? What's happening? Um, like, but yeah, so then I was just like, he left, and I was like, Cat, this is a stick shift, a manual. I don't, I don't know how to do that. So I walked out, and I was like, just to be clear, this is a stick shift, right? And he was like, Yeah, you do you drive stick shift? I was like, Not normally. Yeah, not normally. <laughs> and not then, ever. Um, uh, immediately called my brother-in-law, Luke Jones. Luke Jones, Luke Dog. He can explain anything to 
a T. So I call like, him, I'm like, I need you to explain to me how to drive stick shift. And he was like, all right. He just broke it down for me. And so I just... So I'm like crying while they're on the phone because I'm like, what are we going to do? It's like almost dark because we were late. If you're watching this lost. video and you've never driven stick shift, it's like... It's, you it's literally have an extra pedal it's in addition really, to the gas and the brake that you have to push almost yeah, at all like, times. Like, I once mean, you I get the know, hang of it, it's super easy. And if you see anyone do it, it looks super easy. But when you're in a foreign country, hills everywhere. Bikers everywhere. Motorcyclists like cutting in and out of lanes. People in Europe are wild. Like, and I'm just like trying to figure out how to go straight and how to stop without making the car like stop and all these things. Oh my gosh. It was the most stressful. I just like found a way to pull out of the parking lot and then like... Uh, I don't even know how we made it. We made it to like this grocery store and like people are honking. I'm going slow and like trying to figure out how to change gears. We make it to this parking lot and I just like practice in the parking lot as best I can. And then the we were like, let's just. I, because if, six, if, if you do it wrong, you stall. And on the way to this parking lot, we stalled like on main roads with cars behind us, like going fast. So like we well, are, we were supposed to be going fast. I was well, going we like were going slow and they were first by this, but like we are stopped on a main road. Can you get my water out of the freezer for me? It's in the freezer. We're stopped on a main road in a foreign country. We're like, if we get pulled over, we can't talk to the cops unless they speak English, obviously. And also if we just tell them like, we don't know how to drive this car, they're probably gonna be like, why are you on the road and give us a ticket? Anyways, so <laughs> he's also wearing sandals and apparently you're not allowed to drive in Switzerland with sandals. Well, I didn't want him while I was driving. Anyways, all this to say, literally, like, thank you, a horrifying, wow, it's so cold, horrifying drive so then, to the parking lot where he tries to practice. We get there, and we're just like, what are we going to do? Like, is this worth trying to figure out? And, like, are we just, like where are we going? We don't have, our money? We don't have Wi-Fi, so we don't know how to, like... At that time, we didn't have good service, so we were like, we don't know where we're going or how to get to our campsite. Yeah, I couldn't look like anything. anything up where we were. We went to a grocery oh. store, got some groceries, um, because I was like nauseous and hungry because pregnant girl had had like one and a half meals and it was like 8.30 at night and I was like, I have to eat one for the health of my baby and two because I'm so nauseous and feel horrible and I was having a mental breakdown. He wasn't focused on like anything at the grocery store. We can't read any of the labels at all. I was zoned out. Just like, what because they're all like French where we were. Um, anyways. But if you're ever in slept, French... France, get this. I right told him here. I was like chocolate bread. Oh my gosh. It's probably not that good for you, but. Pepites ch chocolat. They don't use as many preservatives and stuff as the US, so. I would be never buy anything you. like that in America. Absolutely but since not. I can't read the ingredients, I'm just like. And we know they use less preservatives. I mean, that's still probably not good for you, but. Um, I mean, but it does say Sans Conservateur, so. This is such with, a long portion anyway, of the video. Yeah. I'm talking so long. Back to what. So then they, like, then we slept. The grocery store is a lot different. There, in a grocery store parking lot. There. Well, we did it because we were in the grocery uh, store parking lot and this guy pulled up next to us and he's like, like motions that they're about to like shut a gate. And I was like. Yeah, they like kicked us out. So he was like, he didn't speak any English, obviously. So he was mad I'm, like, trying to face. He was out so angry. Say. We were like. Anyway, so I had to like leave. figure out how to leave this parking lot. Just freaking. Uh, and. Like, just outside the parking lot, on this, like, back road adjacent to it, there were other vans parked We literally there. saw, like, two camper vans. Yeah, and so I was like, I'll just try like and find my way back there. So I drove back there, just pulled off the side of the road. There's, like, two or three other, like, random vans. It's just, like, a dirt road next to a field. And I was just like, we're just going to sleep here tonight. Which we didn't, like, since oh, our, God. once again, the van didn't come fully charged... We didn't want to like turn all the lights on or like charge our phones or do anything. Well, you can't charge your phones because we're not, we weren't plugged into a campsite. But basically, we didn't even like use the lights in here or like the water. We just like used our phone flashlights and like went to bed. We didn't even like cook dinner. We just like ate snacks from the grocery oh, store and we're like, we're going to bed. We didn't sleep because we were like near a construction the whole, site. The where, whole night is just like, what if someone comes up and knocks on the door or knocks which we've on the slept wall. in ratchet places if you guys have followed along for a while yeah. we have like camper van in the u.s in a van that had like nothing decked out at all just a mattress and like a little power bank in it like this is so nice compared to our but, van yeah. we used to camp in we would sleep in motel six parking lots in, like mexico on the way to california and stuff like 
New Mexico, whatever. So, like, we've slept ratchet places, like, we know, but, like, obviously, you're in the U.S., it just feels safer, like, when you're not in a country where you don't speak the language, you don't have any idea the area you are, whatever. So, we're in this, like, thing, there's cars driving by us all night long, it's so loud, I am, like, so tired, not feeling good, pregnant, he is so stressed because he's, like, Kat wants to obviously be on this trip, I want to be on this trip, we were so excited for this trip, we spent a lot of money, and now, like, I cannot drive the car. I'm freaking out because I'm like, should I even let him try to drive the car? Like, are we going to get in a car accident? Like, is our baby going to be okay? Like, I'm having so much stress. And obviously, with our past, like, fertility stuff, like, I don't want to be stressed while pregnant. It's one of my, like, top things. It's like, I don't allow myself to, like, get stressed out while I'm pregnant. I just, like, say no to things and, like, don't do stressful stuff on my body. So I'm freaking out. Like, what if this is not good for baby like whatever you know anyways all the things it was such a chaotic night we wake up the next morning construction workers literally like right in front of our van so like then we have to back up he doesn't know how to use reverse with the stick shift thing like he literally tried a hundred times the car wait but i gotta go back in. the whole night is just, just like so cars going past and, it, and every sound you're like oh my gosh uh, I'm we're gonna get arrested for i'm sleeping in a different here. country right. like i don't know the rules i don't even know the language like all just all night just like jer jerking awake and i was more just like oh they're gonna be something creepy not like yeah it's creepy i don't yeah. know where I, it was it was dark when i parked so i have no idea where i am it was just like a big field oh gravel road to like these office buildings like beside the grocery store so anyway we, we <laughs> it was terrible yeah next morning i like trying to figure out how to put the car in reverse and driving through he was like downtown so upset. geneva oh yeah, that was bad. Like, it's just So, like, I tried to, like, look up my maps once again. We don't know where we are. I know we're, like, near Lake Geneva. Beautiful lake. We camped on it, like, two nights after in the more remote, whatever. Um, But basically, I was like, we're just going to find a park. We're going to get to the park, and we're going to make pancakes on our little stove and coffee. And this day, it's going to turn around, and then we're going to decide if we're going to return the van, see how much money we can get back. We're going to just see our options. So, we start driving to this park once he finally gets out after, like, literally a hundred times. Like so bad like almost like like i'm crying and he's like like when the car stalls it like stops like dead like stops if you like don't do it right and then you have to turn the car back on so he's like turning the car on like 20 times within a minute and we're like are we about to like mess up the transmission like what's happening like yeah whatever. and it's downtown geneva like people trying well, to no, get to that, work that was before and then i like mapped us to this park and then we literally go to this park and it ends up being like downtown in the second biggest like city in switzerland and like, like such busy streets. Everyone's on their way to work. Pedestrians everywhere. Bikers everywhere. So many cars. And it's like the park, it's like Piedmont Park in Atlanta. Like you're not just gonna park somewhere. Like there's no parking lot for you. And he can't like go in tight spaces because he can't drive this car and he can't reverse. And he, like once the car stops, it's like impossible for him to get it going again. So every red light, there's cars behind us and he's just stalling over and over and over again trying to get it to go. It was horrible, and oh, I felt man. so bad. Yeah. So then we just start driving, because I'm like, just get out of the city. So we just keep driving until we're out of the city. And we end up driving, like, all the way around Lake Geneva until we, like, park, like, halfway through over Lake Geneva and underneath, like, on the Italian side. And then we just park in this random little, like, Swiss, French, Italian, who knows what village. We just park and walk around. It's a nice day. We make pancakes in the van. Our morale starts the to go up a little bit. Town ever. We had like literally a hundred horrible, like There's more like... stall, awkward people honking at us, crazy, chaotic moments, thinking we might have to get a tow truck. Just crazy stuff before this, but we get there at like 10 a.m., 11. To get a tow truck. When you were stuck on that curb, I was like, I, how much is a I tow had truck going to cost? We didn't need a tow truck. I thought we did, maybe. <laughs> you were pretty low morale at that point. Oh. Anyways, I made us some pancakes. There was and like some lavender eggs. all along the side of the road. We picked and like lavender and like sniffing lavender, having to trying to calm down. Yeah. And then it just started once we made some coffee and yeah. had some. It just kind of started, you know, you start to get the wheels Turn turning around. a little bit, and it's like, all right, let's just keep going. And then he like we drove again because I was like, so we just like we were trying to get somewhere with Wi-Fi so we could like, kind of look up campsites, see what we were gonna do. The next time we drove, he just like kind of did better. Like, it was a little bit easier. He didn't seem to stall as much. He still stalled some, you know. And then, what happened after that? 
Did we just map to our campsite? We just yeah, decided we just to send freaking, it. We're like, all right, let's go. I think I got the. Yeah, we were that. literally like in downtown Geneva thinking we're going to return this van. We're going to either fly home, when, we're going to buy a cheap rental car, and stay at cheap, cheap hotels for three nights, then fly home. When we were in Geneva, I was 100%. We were both like. We're, I was like, there's no way we're doing this trip. I do not know how to drive this. There's too it's many not people. Safe, like, this is terrifying. People are honking, driving. Like, was I was so just bad. like. Like driving in another country already is a little bit intimidating. Second biggest like, city in but the then country. Then like it's like, oh man, just driving stick shift when you don't have anyone to teach you really, except for on the phone is just like, like literally I'm lines of traffic. So scared. And we're just sitting there, people honking at us, and the car is just like stalling, jerk, 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 off, start it, stalling, jerk, <laughs> jerk, jerk, like ten times in a row at one red light. Then it turns red, and you have to try again when it turns green. And if he gets it, I'm like, good job, oh baby, you did so good. Like, it was so bad. You did get calm me down. Like, you did. Well, I we, it was cool. Like the way our marriage, like we worked together. Like I was actually thinking that today. I was like, we handled conflict like so well together. I feel like yes, I cried. Yes, he may have hit the steering wheel a couple times in certain instances. And I never said upset. a single bad word. <laughs> I said a couple. a couple bad words. I'm sorry. But anyways, it was just so chaotic. But then once we like had that like fun moment making pancakes in the van, I think we remembered like how much we love van life. And the fact that like tons of people drive sick and we weren't like, we were in like such rural towns at that point that if he stalled, it was kind of like maybe one car is waiting on you that could go around you. You're not in anyone's way. Like, so we just like kept sending it. And then we were like, let's just find a campsite for tonight. We can always drive back to the other side of Geneva, like Lake Geneva if we want to return the van still whatever so we found a great spot got there safely he just kept getting better at driving and he figured out how to reverse that was huge because reverse was like the one thing that was like i can't do it like at yeah, all it's like, just like kind of cut a part of the trip because it's like well i don't want to go there or go to that coffee shop because like i just i don't feel safe like backing up yeah or, like being in tight spaces and so it was just like you know, limited us, but yeah. But a good thing. today we went to a coffee shop and he reversed and parked in tight spaces. Like now I literally, I mean, it's it's like baptism by fire. Like I now I feel like I can drive. Well, it's still a little scary, scary a, sometimes, but he's. Like I don't better. know. I mean, now it's just like, you know. If I still way, try again. Oh my gosh, so much easier. Like I feel super okay, super yeah. confident now because. In the mountains we're in, it's like we're not really driving up mountains. Some of it's like curvy roads, but it's not like he's driving up and saying like steep hills all the time and stuff. Um, cause that I was really scared of that. I was like, what if these mountain roads, like you know, cause you go to mountains and it's like really sketchy or whatever. So, anyways, this video all that is brought to, say, to you by Luke Jones. Thank you for thank teaching you, me how to drive stick over the phone. Yeah, I'll pay and maybe you back if for you ever book calls. with Indie Camper, just. Be careful and get there or really early. any car. Just make sure that yeah. it's automatic. And especially in Europe, they don't yeah. have as many... They have more manual transmissions yeah. than okay. the U.S. So it's not definitely going to be an automatic. I definitely yeah. should have checked that. I don't know why. Oh, uh, yeah. I didn't see anywhere that said manual, but maybe I just didn't look enough. Anyways, that's our story time. I promise to tell you guys. Sorry if you wanted to, like, skip through this whole part of the video because you just want to see mountains. 25 minutes. Oh my gosh, is it really? It's going to be so long. It's so funny. If you stuck around, Kudos to you. you know. um, but anyways, we're about to go to sleep and then have a good day tomorrow. It's supposed to rain genuinely the whole rest of the time we're here, which is so sad. But we're going to figure it out. And we're still going to hike in the rain. We're fine with that. We're still going to go see Water Brennan in the rain. He's laughing at Sorry. reels. His sister sent him on Instagram. And also I'm excited to like open these up. Yeah, we have Jones. a water view right here and mountains in the back. So if it rains tomorrow, for part of the day, we'll just have cozy coffee in our bed and read and it'll be so cozy. Mm -hmm. And then we are probably going to wild camp tomorrow night, aka not have a, um, not have a mm -hmm. campsite. Just find somewhere like on the app that you're allowed to park overnight. Just because it'll be free and we won't need charge again. We'll just kind of ratchet it for one night and then our last night... We'll camp somewhere again and like charge up and clean the van and do everything and then go to the airport. But tomorrow we're going to have a fun time exploring and hopefully like a cozy day and hopefully it doesn't rain all day. And I really want to try to run tomorrow or the next day. I haven't run this whole trip because of my pubic symphysis dysfunction thing from pregnancy. I saw like a physical therapist for it and I was told not to run. And I was also in like far too much pain to where I could even try to run. But it's starting to get a little better so... I'm going to do my exercises and try to run tomorrow. And I'm like, running in Switzerland? It will be super slow and not far at all. But if we get to do it, that's super exciting. So, 
He's also had a broken toe, and he would be allowed to run now, too. So we might do a little joggy jog together tomorrow in Switzerland. But we're definitely going to go to Lauterbrunnen, and we'll definitely bring you guys along. So good night, and see you tomorrow for lots of cozy Swiss van chocolate, energy. Swiss cheese, yes. Swiss I'm so excited for chocolate. knives, Swiss I Army just knives. I want chocolate. I wanted hot chocolate again so bad today, but didn't get it. Okay, good night. <laughs>
our plan for the night is we're gonna walk to a little cafe or restaurant around like the town where our campsite is in um i don't really know if there's even one close we just kind of had that plan so we may end up driving to one if we need to but our campsite won't let your car back in on, like after 9 p.m so we need to make sure we don't stay out that late um i think we just wanted to get like casey wanted maybe a glass of wine i wanted like hot chocolate and we were gonna try the famous like cheese fondue that people have in switzerland because we hadn't had that yet and it was like sounded good to just kind of have like a snack night for dinner <laughs> just try a bunch of things and have um some yummy drinks and so that's kind of our plan but lauder brennan was amazing today i don't know if i'm saying that right i think i am but it really was um so beautiful that was the place in switzerland i was the most excited to go see that was the place we were at when i was vlogging with all the cows um I, I didn't really know it was that big on the cows or whatever but it's basically this valley in between all these mountains there's like four waterfalls it's hard to see them in the vlog because they're like tiny waterfalls but i got some of them like clips so many cows people actually live there like the houses in my videos and stuff like are people's homes who like live there and farm there and it's so hard even in the town we're in camping here like everything is so beautiful and just like remote and scenic and sweet everyone has gardens in their yards like flowers like the freaking street signs have little flower boxes like it's just so beautiful here you're like how do people live here like how is this real life how how is it like this um and so that's water brennan was like that times a bajillion because like here is super nice but water brennan is like freaking fake world if you love lord of the rings me i love lord of the rings homeschool girlies sorry um but jrr tolkien wrote lord of the rings it's just this trilogy it has amazing movies if you've never seen them read them whatever you need to but basically he based rivendell if you have seen them Rivendell and lord of the rings that like elvish town or whatever is based on lauder brennan like literally jrr tolkien went to lauder brennan and he was like i'm going to write about this in my book like there was this will be a place in lord of the rings whatever um and it is it is the like elven city called rivendell and it's like beautiful in the movie and it's beautiful in real life definitely like obviously different than rivendell looks in the movie but kind of same vibe like lots of mountains around a valley with waterfalls very beautiful anyways we loved it. it was so fun we got some like weird little chocolate donuts in case you wanted to try they were amazing um then we came back chilled and now i'm hoping that it doesn't pour all night so we can walk to dinner but we'll also walk to dinner in the rain and that will be fine so i'm gonna be disciplined and do my pelvic rehab and we'll show a clip of dinner or whatever else we do tonight and then we'll see you guys tomorrow for our yesterday because we were just road tripping back and i honestly did not feel good i was so sick just had a really hard like pregnancy day but we are here dropping off our van and i felt like we needed a clip for the outro of that so let's say bye to our van there she is sayonara how do you feel casey signing off for good I feel free free <laughs> because it was amazing all right outro flying clips Bye. Thank you for watching.